Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR news video here. Some news dropped in the last day that is pretty big. There's a new headset called the DECA Gear 1 was confirmed by Valve because it was a little up in the air. People didn't know if this thing was a real deal because it was made by some entrepreneur that nobody knows. And uh, this thing is confirmed by Valve. They didn't design it. They didn't design it, but they worked with this guy to get this thing integrated into Steam VR. So this headset for $450 is supposed to have HP reverb resolution at 2160 by 2160 per eye, facial expression tracking, hip tracking, and touch-like controllers similar to the index finger tracking. And there's already a lot of images of this thing floating around. Those controllers definitely look like a hybrid, if anything, between the index controllers and the HP Reverb. Uh, there's another picture here that looks like the finished product, ready to go, ready to ship out. That's the hip tracker right there. A Little bit of a bigger picture there. The hip tracker just attaches to your hip and it tracks your hip movement. There's some quotes here. Sorry, I don't know who wrote these. I found these pictures in a forum, but these wearable hand controllers are not required to be physically held. Natural gripping or grasping is possible when needed by just squeezing the controller. You can also drop objects as you usually do just by opening your hand. Your hands act like hands. These controllers can sense movement in all five fingers to provide a wide range of gestures and expressions. So all of you people who pre-ordered the Reverb G2 might be a little bit worried, thinking like, what do I do? Do I cancel my pre-order and wait for this thing that supposedly comes out in 2021 because it has a lot of things that the Reverb G2 doesn't? And I personally would not be too worried yet because this there's no guarantee this thing is gonna come out the door at $450 to consumers. Also, the creator of this thing is an entrepreneur by the name of Or Kuntzman. I'm afraid to pronounce his name other in any other way other than Kuntzman. You could see why. And this guy has a little bit of a shady track record. I'll let you be the judge. Between 2004 and 2009, his LinkedIn page says he co-founded an advertising tech startup called Target Point, which was then sold to Sidor Desktop Media, which Adware Report classifies as spyware and semantic antivirus lists as adware. And he co-founded Install Labs, according to the page, with his involvement listed as extending from 2011 to 2013. According to a 2018 BuzzFeed news investigation, Install Labs distributed, quote, distributed adware and other software classified as potentially unwanted programs by security and antivirus firms due to them causing frustration for users and often installing other programs without permission. So I'll let you guys digest that and form your own conclusions because to me, I would much rather trust a brand like HP, Valve, and Microsoft who worked on the Reverb G2 than this guy who has a little bit of a shady background. In fairness though, let's read his response because uploadvr.com reached out to this guy to get a response to these uh to that information i just read you and he said target point was a text advertising search company we offered search mechanism with integrated monetization to websites until google came and offer the same but we managed to sell the company before it happened Install Labs was an adware install technology, which maybe sounds like a shady business now, but back then it was mainstream. Yahoo and Google fight on global search share, and they basically funded all the adware industry by paying for their tool bar installations. 80% of our revenues came from Google. The rest was Yahoo, Babylon, etc. So it sounds like he didn't like full out deny it there, to be honest. He basically just put it on Yahoo and Google saying, hey, they basically funded the, the whole adware industry back in the day. So that's a little bit like, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't be too worried yet. We'll see how this thing does. I doubt I'll be surprised if it gets out the door at $450. So that's pretty much it. I'll end the video right there. Thank you so much as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.